and I welcome you back to the Debrinic channel and today we are going to be talking about Lake Orville, we're going to be talking about Lake Powell, Lake Mead, and we are also going to go across the big pond, the big Pacific, and talk about China. We're going to be talking about the Three Gorges Dam and doing an update and without further ado let's roll right over to windy.com and here we are at windy.com and Oroville is 77 degrees, Chico 77, Paradise 77 and East Quincy 64 and this is the 10 day forecast and look at this just nothing in the forecast whatsoever. Nothing nothing for the next 10 days. So this is pretty simple forecast because there's nothing going on at Lake Oroville. Let's go check out the water levels and see what's going on at Lake Oroville. Lake Oroville water level. Water level is currently 640.60 feet MSL Saturday August 7, 2021 6 a.m. The level is 259.40 feet below full pool of 900 and the lake has dropped 0 0.26 feet and we are officially without power. Yes, you heard me right. In case you haven't heard yet, the Hyatt Power Plant shut down on Thursday, August 5th, due to low water levels. When will this resume? As soon as we get some rain. Is that going to happen in the next 10 days, as I just showed you? Absolutely not. This is devastating. Now they have to rely on power from somebody else, and the lake actually produces quite a bit of power whenever it's fully operational. How much does the Hyatt Power Plant produce? Well, the Hyatt Power Plant produces up to 750 watts whenever the lake is completely full but we know that the lake hasn't been full for a while so it produces between 100 and 400 megawatts depending on lake levels and at the end it was probably producing less than that truthfully according to buckley average high demands in a day across the state 44,000 megawatts of power so 400 megawatts would be less than one percent of the power needed so while losing the hyatt power plant is is not terrible but it is terrible because those people just rebuilt a spillway back in 2019 2018 they were rebuilding that spillway so they had to pay for that and here's another fun fact the Hyatt power plant produces an average of 22.0 billion kilowatts of hours of electricity each year about half of the total power produced so you have that and this is just devastating news and as much as the Hyatt power plant produces it's not going to be the end of the world, but it definitely going to hurt because that's green energy. It's 1% of green energy that you don't have anymore at your disposal. We're back to windy.com. We showed you California. Now we're going to show you the Colorado River system here. They're talking about an inch of rain up here at the Colorado Basin within the next 10 days. And Flagstaff down here, we're going to get around that 1.31 inches. So this might bring up the lake levels a couple inches. We'll just have to wait and see. And there's not a whole lot going on in the west. The monsoons are skirting the outside of the western side of Mexico, not in the peninsula there. Phoenix is getting very little, and just not a whole lot going on. Most of it seems to be on the east side of the divide, so that's not good news for the Colorado River system. And it's just no rain, as usual, this time of year. We're getting closer and closer to getting snow. Remember last year on Labor Day last year, there was a snowstorm to hit Denver the day after Labor Day. Okay, we are at Lake Powell Water Database. And this is actually something that I used a long time ago, but never in a video. I used to look at this every day, years and years and years. And then I found the other one. I kind of like the other one, but I like this one as well. I haven't ever done it on my video. So here we are for August 7th, 2021, the snowpack is 35% of average. So there's still 35% of snowpack in the Rockies. So don't be thinking that the Rockies have lost all the snow because they have not, as they generally do not. Total precipitation is 80% of average. Lake Powell is currently 421.02 feet deep at the dam. Today is 311 of 365 days of the water year, and the water year ends September 30th, in case anybody's wondering. And that means it ends on a Thursday this year. There is currently 2.5 trillion gallons of water left in Lake Powell. So don't be thinking that the lake's completely dry because it's not. Think about it this way. The lake is two-thirds 
of the way down there is 32 percent of the lake is full so if you add 2.5 and you do that two more times that's 750 trillion gallons is generally usually in the lake and i'm not going to go into all these small numbers here just to bore you but the last reading at lake powell was 3553.02 that was august 6 2021 so that was yesterday the last time the elevation was within this elevation was August 5th of 2021. Lake Powell is down negative 52.06 feet from one year ago today. Lake Powell is at a low for the water year and down 42.81 feet from the high. So this thing continues to drop and this is not good. Even with all that extra water that they're supposed to be getting, it's still losing water. But here's something that's real eye-catching in case you guys didn't know. The lake is required to release 7.5 million acre feet every year and so far this year in 2021 of the water year. Now the water year ends September 30th and we're 85% full. They've almost released 7 million gallons already. So they still have a little over 500,000 gallons to release. So as of today the total release of the water is 6,958,523 acre feet. So that's what they have lost. Now it shows you when the lake rised in the last 14 days the lakes dropped 0 0.16, 0 0.15, 0 0 0.14, 0 0.15, 0 0.18, you get the gist, and the lake has actually dropped 1.88 feet over these last 14 days measurement. So there's something else on here. It shows that there's only two marinas left open. All these other marinas are closed, and it's not good, and... People are in long lines. Used to, whenever I used to come here years ago, there would like only be two, but now you got all these closed. Out of the 13 ramps, the marinas, there's only two left. So there you have it. That just right there should tell you everything you need to know. That lake is really dropped, and they're not used to it being 32.08% full. So there you have it. We're going to roll over to Lake Mead now as well. Lake Mead's water level is currently 1,067.70 feet. And we are 85% through the water year as well. And Lake Mead was last at this elevation August 4th, 2021. Lake Mead is 151.9 feet below full pool of 1219.60 feet. By content, Lake Mead is 34.85% full, a little bit fuller than Lake Powell. By content, uh, the inflows for the water year are 7,430,0.91 feet. And you remember that 6,900,000 of that came from Lake Powell, just in case anybody was wondering. This is 149.83 feet percent of the August 5th average of 4,959,710 acre feet. Total releases for water year 2021 are 8,116,194 acre feet. This is 90.18 of the minimum required of 9 million. So let me get this right. 7.5 million come from Lake Powell. So basically they're allowing 7.5 million straight down the Colorado. Okay. And then you got... Lake Mead releasing an additional 1.5 million acre feet and it goes down to Lake Havasu and then over to California which goes right out into the ocean. Lake Mead is down 16.53 feet from one year ago today. Not quite drastic as Lake Powell. Lake Powell is smaller than Lake Mead, that's fact. The last 14 days, the lake is actually up 0 0.1 feet of average. So basically in the last 14 days, there's more water coming in than going out and the lake only had, the lake has split the difference seven days of down, seven days of up. And they don't show the marinas like they did over there. So there you have that. I will link these below so you can check those out. And then now we are going to go to check out the weather in China. And then we're going to check out the water levels. And we will end the video after that. And here is your Three Gorges Reservoir 
water levels as promised. These are the CCP's numbers. On August 7th at 11 a.m., 145.93 meters is your water level. Your current water level out is 15,100 meters out, and you can see it in the red. It is rising. Let's go check out windy.com and see what is going on in China. The next 10 days, check this out. In Dazu, 17.03. So the reservoir ends right here. So Ganalu down here, 6.4. If this comes to pass, this is going to increase these levels. And if I don't see these levels rise, and the majority of this rain is coming in the next five days, so I'll be back watching this. If they really get 14 inches, 14.48 in Dazu, this water level will rise drastically. It definitely will rise more than it has. And I don't believe the CCP for a minute because I've been watching this over the course of time and they've been getting rain. Now, the Yellow River had that massive flood up here a few weeks weeks ago and I did not talk about that but it was devastating. The Yellow River starts right about the same place as the Yangtze River does as well. They start similar areas but they go totally different paths. The Yellow River goes to the north and to the east and the Yangtze River goes to the south and then back up to the north and then back to the east. So it definitely takes different routes. At one point, the Yellow River goes due south before it all ends up in the China Sea. So there you have it. That's all I have for today. We will see you on the next one. God bless.